Um, I'm Blake Holland, and we're here today interviewing Tom Van Shaik of the Robert O. Keen Band. Um, okay. <laughs> All right. Um, how and why did you start drumming? Um, I would say it's it was almost a calling. It's it chose me. I really didn't choose it. I was always. Uh, I was always banging on things when I was a kid and uh, just started taking drum lessons when I was uh, in fourth grade and just kept at it and I never really ever wanted to do anything else so it uh, it was kind of a you know a, more of a calling than anything else. Um, how did you get to work with Robert O'Keefe? I actually um, it's 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 interesting. My I, I used to play with the Dixie Chicks, and the last show that I played with the Dixie Chicks, we opened for Robert at Flores Country Store in San Antonio. And about a year later, I get a call from uh, Lloyd Maines, who's Natalie Maines' father, and also an incredible steel guitar player and producer. And uh, he asked me what I was doing the next weekend, and he told me that Robert needed a drummer to cover a tour of the Northeast for about five or six shows. So I, uh, I, that was on a Sunday, and then I talked with Robert on Monday. He FedExed me all his records on Tuesday, and then I met him on Thursday at the airport, flying to the East Coast to start the tour. And our first show was on that Friday with no rehearsals or anything, so it was... Uh, that's that's sort of how I how I got to the got got in with Robert. Um, what is it like to be a successful drummer? In I don't know. I'll have to ask somebody. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's. I mean, for for me, I've it's I've always wanted to do this. It's something that ever since I was a kid, I never wanted to do anything else. So I'm one of the absolute fortunate ones that I get to do what I love to do and what I've always wanted to do and I really don't have to do anything else to supplement it either um, and a lot of musicians and drummers out there you know they don't they don't have it is is sort of as lucky as I do that there's uh, that they have to work day jobs and all these other things but I've been fortunate enough to where I've been able to support myself and my family uh, playing music, and uh, so it's it's an incredible feeling just to be able to do something that you love and uh, and do it for a living and do it every day. Um, what is it like touring with the band? It's great. Um, it's it's very fortunate that uh, I've I've actually been with Robert uh, over 13 years now, and um, we're all really good friends. Um, everybody in the band respects each other, is friends with each other, um, respects each other personally as well as musically. Um, and there's a really, really good dynamic and chemistry to the band. And that's that's the most important thing when you're out on the road because, I mean, we're, we're out on the road six months out of the year, um, eight people stuck in a 45-foot bus. So if you don't get along, it's, uh, it's going to make for a long, long trip. And uh, it's, it's very fortunate that, that we all get along. And uh, there's no, you know, there's always been rumors of, of, you know, fights and all this other stuff with other bands and people, you know, getting into physical brawls and all that stuff. And there's never been one incident in 13 plus years that I've been with Robert. So it's, uh, we're just out there, you know, Doing what we love to do, and uh, with with all our you know with friends. So I mean, what what better life is there? So. Um, what was your favorite? Like, what were your favorite gigs, and why were they your favorite? Oh, my favorite gigs. God, there's there's lots of them. I mean, to me, I mean, every show is every show is fun because I mean, you you step out, you know, you you get ready to go to work basically, and there's couple thousand people screaming their heads off and just totally excited that you're about to start your job so I mean that's that's a very unique thing um, I think one of the sort of most mind-blowing ones was uh, when we played the uh, Y2K New Year's Eve down here in Austin 
and they had uh, an estimated 250,000 people downtown, and uh, that was that was amazing for that. Um, a lot of a lot of places, it's just sort of historic venues, playing the Ryman Auditorium in Nashville, uh, playing the Fillmore in San Francisco, where you know Grateful Dead and Jimi Hendrix and Janis Joplin and all these people have played. Um, those those things I always say have a certain amount of ghosts in the venue to where you can just feel the, the presence of all the music that's been there on that stage. Um, others, it really makes the crowd really makes it. Um, when we play New York, um, it's uh, it's always great. I mean, there's a couple thousand people out just going nuts. There's a great festival out in uh, San Francisco that we played, the Harley Strictly uh, Bluegrass Festival that they have uh, probably about 300,000 people out over the festival and uh, it's just, it's an amazing, it's an amazing thing because they, they all come out for the music and everybody's very respectful of each other and um, they, uh, last year with all those people they only had one arrest of, out of all that and it's a free, and it's a free festival as well so I mean it's, it's a really, really cool vibe so that's, th those are Sort of my highlights. What was the coolest thing that's ever happened to you um, on tour? Cool Gosh, the coolest thing. Um, there's always like little perks. Um, we have uh, we have a lot of uh, fans of the band that are uh, associated with Major League Baseball, either players or managers, and uh, so if we're a lot of times if we're in town and we can catch a ball game or something like uh, when we were in Chicago, we went to a Cubs game, we went to a Red Sox game at Fenway. Um, there was one show where we, where we pulled in and we realized we were literally right next door to the uh, to where the California Angels play. And uh, so we called up a friend of ours from the Cubs organization um, who, you know, they pretty much everybody knows everybody else in Major League Baseball, I guess. And so we called him up and and, uh, and asked him if we could get tickets to, to the game. And he said, yeah, which day? And he said, like, this afternoon. You know, like in two hours is the first pitch. So we get a call back in about 40 minutes. He was just like, okay, we got you in. So we, you know, <laughs> so instead of sound check, we went to, a, uh, to went to a ball game and then came back and played the show. So I mean, those those are some of the so those are some of the cool things, just the little little perks that come along with the job. So. Um, what is it like in the studio with um, the band? Um, it's interesting because a lot of times, and uh, we actually just got out of the uh, studio working on a new record, and um, there's um, the way it usually works with Robert is he'll come in, he'll have all the songs written, and uh, we'll come into the studio and we'll be all set up with all the band gear and we'll sit around in a circle and he'll just play a song, one of the songs on acoustic guitar. And um, so as he's playing, we'll all sort of fall in and kind of, you know, see where the feel of the song is, where the, you know, what, what, uh, you know, what sort of what genre, what beat, what grooves, what, you know, all that. And it, everybody has an input. Um, it's a very creative situation. And uh, it's fun because it's, there's, it's almost like a painter with a blank canvas to where Robert has the original shapes um, uh, drawn out on the canvas and we're there to color in and to enhance the shapes and to, and to bring the painting to life. So that's, that's it's, a, it's a very, very creative process. And with Robert, pretty much anybody can throw in any idea and he's open to it, to trying it, to, to make the song better. And uh, I think what's, what's unique in our situation is that everybody in the band um, has, has the attitude of just making the song the best that it can be. It did, whether it's not playing, whether it's playing, whether it's you know, playing half of what you wanted to do or doing on a different instrument, or I mean, it's a very unselfish sort of thing, but we just want to make each song the best that it can possibly be. And uh, with Robert, it's easy because he writes great songs, and um, so it's uh, it's you know, and it's easy that way. Um, the uh, you know, the tough part is just to try to sort of 
hone down all the possibilities that are available to